Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from SimpliCode and today we are going to discuss another type of animation in JavaScript. We will discuss in detail the zoom in and zoom out effect in JavaScript. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from SimpliCode. So without any further delay, let's get started. The fade in and fade out effect in JavaScript was easy to use. All we have to do is to use the style property with opacity in between 0 and 1. Quite a simple task, right? Now in this video, we'll see another animation effect in which we'll change the size of an image by hovering over that. We see such animations in many e-commerce websites where if we take the mouse cursor over any product, the size increases. So let's do it here. It's a simple task. We'll add an image to our HTML file first. So we'll write here img and the source will be we have an image named as coffee.png in a system and then we have the id attribute the id will be let's say img and then we'll use the alt attribute here we'll write here coffee let's assume that this is a product of any e-commerce website and we want to increase the size of this product on hovering over that so the next thing we'll be doing here is we'll be defining the width. So let's say the width will be 200 pixel for this particular image and then we'll use certain events here. So we'll use the on mouse over. So on taking the mouse cursor over, we want to increase the size of this image, right? And on taking the mouse cursor away, we want to decrease the size, right? So we have used these two functions. We'll define these functions in our JavaScript file. So we are done with this IMG tag save it and you can see we have an image over here in a browser so we are done with it we have the default size of this image as 200 pixels we can change it here we can make it 300 or 400 or any size we want so you can see the image size change if we write here 300 instead of 200 so for now we'll be using 200 that's fine i guess so what we want is we want to increase the size of this image by taking the mouse cursor over it right and the size will be back to normal if we take the cursor away from the image. So for that, we have to define these two functions, increase and decrease. So let's define them in a JavaScript file. What we'll do is we'll first write here function and we'll define function increase. Then we have the body of this function and we'll write here document dot get element by ID. The ID is IMG and we'll write here dot style dot width is equals to we can't write here 400 pixels simply it will throw an error you can see a red line over here so what we have to do is we have to write this inside single inverted commas right save it and on taking the mouse cursor over the image you can see the image size increases but it's not getting back to its original size because we haven't declared the decrease function yet Let's declare the decrease function as well. So what we'll do is we'll again use the same logic. We'll write here function decrease. And inside the body we'll write document dot get element by ID. We'll write here IMG dot style dot width is equals to the width let's say will be default. So the width will be 200 pixels. We'll write here 200 pixels and the decrease function will make the picture get back to its original size that is 200 pixels so save it and you can see here on the browser that the image is zooming in and out on specific mouse events that is one of the most easiest tasks to do in javascript all we had to do is we had to define two functions a function increase and the other one for decreasing the size so the function increase will increase the size by 200 pixels and the function decrease will get the image back to its original form fine now there is an older method of changing the size of an image using the set interval method html5 documents no longer support this method so suppose that we want the size of the image to grow gradually like after every 10 milliseconds the size should increase up to a certain level all we have to do is to use the set interval method we are all aware of this concept in JavaScript. So let's take a look at the HTML part. So here's the HTML part, which is the same as we used for the previous program. Not even a single change here. You can see we have the image source as coffee.png. Then we have the ID as IMG1. 
then we have used two mouse over events one to increase the size and the other one to decrease the size and then we have the width as 100 we have changed the width here the initial width will be 100 and we'll notice that the initial image size is smaller than the one we used in the previous program now the javascript file will look different let's move there first so here is the javascript part and we have three variables here width addition and interval id now the initial value of width is the same as that of image which is 100 and then we have the variable addition which will be responsible for the increment of the size as we want the size to be increment by 2 pixels after every 10 milliseconds right the following variable is interval id which we'll need later on while using the set interval method now we have two functions over here the increase function and the decrease function so these are the two functions we have in a javascript file inside the increase function we have used the set interval method you can see here we have the set interval method and we have called the zoom in function after every 10 milliseconds so it will call the zoom in functions again and again after 10 milliseconds so if we want to make it one second we have to write here 1000 right we are already aware of this concept so we are using milliseconds for now now if we remove this clear interval method from here then the zoom in and zoom out effect will not work correctly in between we'll try it later so same as the case for decrease function as well and it will call the zoom out function after every 10 milliseconds right so we have to define these two functions as well so here are the functions zoom in and zoom out so let's take a look at the zoom in function first the zoom in function is actually responsible for the increment in the size of the image if the width is less than 200 let's suppose the initial width is 100 which is less than 200 right then what will happen is the value of width will be increased by width plus addition it will be increased by 2 so it will check if the width is less than 100 the value will be 102 then 104 6 8 10 up to 200 and then the value will be assigned to the style property to increase the size so this statement is we are using for a long time now so what we are doing is we are assigning the value of this width to this style property and then we have used the console.log to check the increase in width now the else statement will stop the set interval function and the increment in image size will be stopped as soon as it reaches the 200 mark for the value of width as 200 the set interval function will stop same as the case for zoom out function which will decrease the size of the image until the size reaches 0 the size will be reduced by 2 after every 10 milliseconds the logic remains the same what we are doing is we are using here minus instead of plus and we are checking if the value of width is greater than 100 fine so let's check the output of this program save it and we'll open this file with live server we'll click on live server now here we are on the browser and take the mouse cursor over the image oh it's not working the reason behind it is this method is not supported by the current version of HTML. To make this program work, we have to put our browser in quirk mode. Now for that, we have to do a simple task. We have to go to a HTML file and we have to remove this particular statement. We have to remove this doc type as HTML. Remove it. Now this quirk mode is used to make older websites compatible with the browser. If your program doesn't work sometimes, do check this out by removing doc type from your HTML file. Sometimes it happens that a particular method or a particular type of program doesn't support in your browser. So do check this method out. Try running your program in quirk mode and maybe it will work. So let's check the output now. See, on taking the mouse cursor over here, the image size increases gradually. And on taking the mouse cursor away, the size decreases. It looks nice, right? Now imagine you are working on an e-commerce website and you want to make your website more interactive. Then you can put this effect over products and it will look nicer, right? So we have already mentioned it that what if we remove this clear interval method. So we'll move to a JavaScript file and we'll see what if we remove this particular clear interval method from it. So we'll remove these clear interval methods. We'll remove this one and this one. Save it now. 
and you can see there is something wrong on taking the mouse cursor over this image so you can see the image is shaking slightly right now this is because the clear interval method does not stop the set interval method on calling the increase and decrease function every time so this is how we can make our web pages more beautiful and interactive in javascript try doing something new by yourself and let us know in the comments what new you learned so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through iterators in javascript if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you